What's good YouTube family? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a ball fade on someone with thinning hair. This is a very important thing to learn. So make sure that you take the tips and gems that I give you and see what I'm doing and understand what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and apply it to your game. And I hope everybody's having a good day. You know what I'm saying? This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in another wonderful day. So just a uh, opportunity to continue to get better and to be great i appreciate y'all tuning in for my channel to my channel and uh like this video man help me help us to continue to grow you know? appreciate y'all may god bless let's get into this video to family here's a quick before this haircut i appreciate y'all for tuning in to begin this cut i want to begin combing his hair into the pattern that his waves are already growing or that his hair is already growing i'm not gonna say waves because he's, he's not a waver he doesn't really brush but still, even if even if your client isn't a waver, still brush the hair in a pattern that it grows naturally. And as advertised in the title, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to do a ball fade on someone with thinner hair, and it's gonna it's gonna make it look like you know, like it's not like that. You gotta you gotta provide the solution. People got problems. You got a solution. Boom. So I'm taking a number one and a half and I'm gonna cut down with the grain, making sure that I brush and cut at the same time. The reason that you comb when you uh the reason that you comb when you're doing cuts like this instead of brush down, because the comb lifts the hair up off the scalp, so it's gonna give you the cleanest, flattest cut possible. And the most uh even cut as you can get going with the grain. The most even cut that you can get is against the grain, but we're gonna go with the grain. So like I said, I'm just combing and cutting. Making sure that everything is laying how it's supposed to. Getting everything laying in its natural position, cutting everything in its natural position and just getting ready. Laying everything down just to get ready for this haircut. client out we're gonna take out a C cup so we're gonna be doing a mid like a mid fade drop it down just a little bit in the back to give me more room to stretch the fade and then uh, do the same thing on the other side and the reason I take a C cup out is because this is the first time that this client actually got a ball fade usually he gets a taper usually do a high taper so I'm gonna be able to do another video on him actually so that's gonna be that's gonna be dope to be able to do that but yeah, um, so the bottom out, I'm just gonna be setting the ball line in and uh, just coming up, clearing everything up, getting everything clean, making sure that I go over, go over everything because I'm not gonna use the shaver on him because he has sensitive skin. A lot of my clients, I don't really use the shaver on just because they're skin, but if one client is due, I do have a couple clients that I, I, I use it on. making sure that I keep this guideline the same on both sides so now I got the number one and a half guard on and I know that I had it closed so I'm gonna open it up and go right up under to his pride of ridge and I'm gonna close it so now it's closed and I'm just going up right to his pride of ridge y'all see what I'm rocking man always advance clothing come shop with me man always advance clothing always advance in Christ this is a, a brand that glorifies God so if you if you, if you rock with that you know what I'm saying shop with me um, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway soon too. I'll be doing a giveaway soon. I'm, I'm gonna have to make a post about it and everything. I, I gotta figure out what exactly I'm gonna give away and how you could be qualified for it, all that. But stay tuned, man. That's coming soon. So, yeah, once again, I just got the number one and a half. I'm just going up to his Prada Ridge, give myself a nice foundation to be able to come in and fade into, and making sure that I blend that into the top. So now I got to, to establish my first guideline. I got my blade open and I'm gonna be going up about three quarters of an inch and I'm gonna be flicking out. And then after I flick out, after I have my, after I've already established it, 
after I've already established it and make sure that when you're doing these guidelines you do them nice and neat so anyway after I've already established it then I can lay my blade flat and get all the hairs one desired length so now after I got them one desired length I know I can go open halfway and close so now I got my blade open I close it and I go to the top of the guideline then I close it halfway go to halfway down the guideline then I close it all the way and I hit the bottom of the guideline and I take that bottom line out to the back the back you can you can make the back a little bit since since we dropped into the back we make the back a little more thick so that's for a couple of reasons because we dropped into the back so we're able to do that but the reason that we do that is because the back is usually more dense so that means there's more hair there so you just need more room to stretch the fade out in the back now i'm just be doing everything on the other side same thing so now i got the number one guard and i'm just going up right up on the where left off at that one and a half and then I'm gonna just slowly be closing my clipper and moving down on the fade. When you, every time you close your clipper, you move down on the fade. And then I'm gonna just work this bottom line and soften it up as much as I can so I can come in with my zero guard and take the line out. So right here, I'm gonna be doing the same thing, connecting to the back. I split, this, uh, I split this side up tremendously, so just take the steps that I already told you in the process I already told you how to do it and apply it. The reason I do this is so you can implement the same day that you learn, you can implement it so that when you go to do it in the shop, you already know it in your brain what you're going to do. So y'all know I got to do my message for today. So my message for today is simple, man. Put God in the center of your life and everything will come together. Like, you know, in Matthew, I forgot where exactly, but in Matthew it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added to you. So as long as you're seeking God and pursuing God and pursuing God, he's gonna show you what to do, how to do it, what to say, how to say it, and when to say and do it. So just make sure that you're being faithful and obedient and disciplined and consistent in everything that he's telling you to say and do and all he's called you to be and just say do and be all God calls you to say do and be. Um just continue to be great, man. Let your light shine before men. Um like we're the light and salt of the world. Let your light shine bright. Let your salt be full of flavor. Uh, show love everywhere you go and, and everything you do. And glorify God and everything. And just be great, man. God bless you. So once again, we're coming right up under where we left off at that one and a half with this one open. And then we're going to slowly close the blade. As we go down on the fade, we're going to close our lever. And I'm going with the grain right here on the edge with the blade closed. I want the blade open and then closing it, just to smoothen that up so the transition uh, to the top is smooth and there's not no hard line. So once again, I'm going to open halfway and close and I'm working my way down and every time I close my lever, I move down on the fade just to hit this bottom line and I'm going to soften this bottom line up as much as I can so I come in with my one and a half and this is going to take it out, it's going to take the line out. Is gonna pull this fade together. No brainer entertainment. No me just out. zero guard on and I know that most of the time I say with my zero guard I just go open half or I just use a uh, detail work so I just lever play and use the corner of my blade but here this is an example of where I'm gonna be able to lay it flat so now I'm to hit that bottom line I'm just going up to this line because with the zero guard you can easily push the fade too high and that's not the goal the goal is to take the line out and to pull the fade together completely so 
what you're gonna do is be very careful go open halfway and close but you're gonna use you're not gonna go high above it you're just gonna hit this bottom line and just keep hitting it. keep hitting it open close it a little more hit the same spot close it a little more move down a little more and just continue to do the same thing until this line is gone and that the fade is pulled together so now I took, I took my zero off and I'm just doing detail work with my blade open just lever playing and using the corner of my blade just seeing any dark spot and attacking any dark spot that I see bringing it to the light and um, you know just getting this fade as smooth as it can be I'm gonna continue to do the same thing working my way to the back taking this line out all the way around his head when you close your lever you move up on the fade so it's the same thing just the opposite same steps just do it to do it the opposite I'm gonna be doing the same thing on this side I think we cut his beard down to a one so no need to use any other guards just fade the beard in with the blade open spray and then I'm gonna brush the hair into his natural position so that there will be no overhanging hair so that when we do do his lineup it, it's solidified and when I say a lineup is solidified I mean you set the you set the ball line or you set the you set your first line in you comb all the hairs over it and you cut hairs that would be overhanging hairs but there's not because you cut them so that means no matter what way the client brushes his lineup is gonna be crispy therefore it is solidified so y'all know how I like to do my lineups. I start, I plant in the middle. I work my way to one side. Once I hit the side, once the side, once the front meets the vertical bar, I tap the vertical bar in. If there's a C cup, I go ahead and do the C cup, but there's no C cup in this because we took it out of the beginning of the video with the ball line. So I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna tap it, see how I brush this hair sideways. And I tap that vertical bar in. Once again, solidifying that line. Making sure that no matter what way you brush his hair, that lineup is in there, solidified, crispy. So I'm doing the same thing, rinse and repeat, same thing as on this side. I start, I plant in the middle, I work my way to the side. Once the side, once the front meets the side, I tap the vertical bar in. Doing the same exact steps. Making sure that you keep it natural as possible and don't push no one back. Just keep it in it. That's where crispy as possible. So right here, I'm gonna set the bar, I'm gonna set the line in on the back of his beard. I'm gonna tap that line in, keep it real natural. Clear that area out. And I'm gonna set the I'm gonna set this line in up under his chin. I don't put it too far, too high, because you see, I just go off the it depends on like Everybody depends on obviously what the client wants, but if they leave it up to me, it depends on the shape of their head and like the shape of their jaw. So him, I don't put it, I don't put it too low, but I don't take it too high. I kept it like medium. So we don't need enhancers. Obviously, y'all see the put the the lineup was popping before we use the enhancers, but we're gonna go ahead and enhance it, add some more to it. You know, 
get it get it even more crispy. I'm using my Bean Team XL and um, Sean Cassette Color Hands Ricard with no drip. Shout out to Basio too, man. He put me on putting the, uh, if y'all have this or if y'all have a spray gun, in between cuts, in between uses of it, every time you use uh, the, every time you use your gun or whatever you use, put alcohol in it, spray it, and just let it spray through a couple times, and then just let it sit in between. And that's gonna help a lot. It's gonna save you a lot of time cleaning it. All right, YouTube family, y'all know how I give it up, man. Glory to God. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I hope that you learned something. If you was, if you watch this for satisfaction, I hope that you were satisfied. Uh, if you wanted, to, if you came to learn something, I hope you learn something. Take something from my game, apply it to yours, advancing your career and advancing life. Just continue to know that. Continue to know and to believe in the things that God's put on your heart and in your mind to do. Know that you can do it. Pray like it's up to God. Work like it's up to you. If you like this video and you think this cut is crispy, um, leave me a like and a comment and just let me know. Let me know what y'all want to see next. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and may God bless. YouTube, let me know what y'all think about that one.